Welcome everyone back to North to Prem. In today's episode, we have our last two fixtures in the Premier League. We're at home to already relegated Burnley and then we're away to 13th place Leicester. Since your last Leicester last left us, we have um, kind of done okay, kind of not. We lost 4-3 to West Ham after leading 2-0, which was really disappointing. That would have been a massive three points if we could have got that or even a point. We drew, uh, we lost 2-1 to Liverpool, but we were never in that game. We got absolutely battered. We then beat Reading 6-2 in the FA Cup, which was good, so it has given us a final. I did say in the last one we'd do like a big bumper episode and do the uh, FA Cup and the League in One, uh, wrapping up the League in One video. I'm not going to do that. I think it's better to keep them separate because they are very much two separate things. We then followed that up with a 0-0 draw against Chelsea, which was not bad. Uh, we then beat Brentford crucially 2-1 that set up a 0-0 draw against Villa which has set up the following scenario so Brentford have played their extra game which they drew meaning if we can beat Burnley today we will leapfrog them Norwich for their last two games have Tottenham Chelsea so if we can win today we'll go above Brentford we will then go level on points with Norwich, providing they lose. And on goal difference, we would actually go a 17th. So a win today could see us go 17th unless they do something very special at home to Tottenham. Now, obviously, there's still the final game of the season. But if we could go into the last game of the season, actually out of the relegation zone, that would be a miracle. Um they Brentford have Palace last game of the season, so that's very much a winnable game. So we really, I guess, if Tot Norwich would need to win one of... Uh, no, Norwich would need to get four points. If, but what I'm going to say is, if we win both of our games, I think we stay up anyway, because Norwich would need to get four points, because if they just get one win, that would put them on 36 points which with the uh, worst goal difference we would go through. So they need to get a draw and a win against Chelsea Tottenham. I don't see that happening. If we win both our games, we would be above Brentford anyway. So really, the onus is on us. Other results will matter because it's not a guarantee we'll win both games. This is the one we need to win. Because if we don't win this, I think we're as good as gone. I think we are as good as gone. I think Brentford will probably win or draw their last game of the season. So if we don't win today, I think we're good and buried. Our best centre-back is out. Calvin Bassey's going to come in. I didn't know he was injured. That's not good. He's going to miss how long? Okay, so he should be back for the last game of the season, but it does mean he's going to miss this one. Do I want to make any more changes? Royale, Bassi, Hadashok, Book, Dennis Jashari. Sergio's back from injury. He's been playing. He hasn't been great, but he's been getting back at a full fitness. Hopefully we see the best of him today. Barnes, who's been terrible recently. And Neto, Diana Zevich. I think we've got to go with it. We press submit and we hope that we can get a result here. Because if we win today, provided Norwich lose to Tottenham, which they should, but you never know. This game's crazy. Provided that result goes as we expect, we will go into the last game of the season just out of the relegation zone. But it's not a guarantee. Burnley are already relegated, so they really have nothing to play for. But on the other side, they have nothing to feel any pressure for because they are very much playing without pressure now. They know they're a championship side next year. And it looks like Burnley are going to go ahead here because it's their highlight and they're just angling around our box. And thankfully, Brits has done just enough to turn it wide. I mean, if we go 1-0 down in this game, it's going to get toxic because I'm not going to be happy with this. This is the one we need to win. And we've been looking okay off camera. But as soon as the cameras go on, for some reason, this, this Fulham side, when the cameras are on, are absolutely terrible. Lyle Foster's scored. It's Burnley 1, Fulham 0. I think we're going down. If we don't win today, I think we're gone. Because I think Brentford will beat Palace. I really do. How are we losing this? They're bottom of the league. And it's not even our highlight. It's theirs again. Oh, I think we're going down. I can't believe it's going to be to these games. Losing to Liverpool, losing to Man United, that's fine. 
well, how are we losing these games? How are we losing to Norwich? That loss to Norwich could kill us because if we win that game, I think we stay up. We need to get something here. We need to come back into this. And Sergio has not picked up a knock already. I will right, need to take Sergio off. I've already got my idea of who I'm going to bring on, but Royale's picked it up. It's just terrible from Jashari. He's just such a waste. Such a waste, right? Well, Sergio's going to have to come off. He's already injured. I'm going to put a Neto on the right, and we'll bring Kevin Contreras on, and hopefully he can be a bit of a hero today. Because we need two goals now, and we haven't looked in this game at all. 20 minutes in, we've not had a shot on target. So I don't know what we're doing. Really don't know what we're doing. We've been terrible. Been terrible today. What are we doing? It's Burnley, the bottom of the league. They are genuinely bottom of the league, already relegated. Yes, they're playing without pressure, but oh, Jesus, they nearly went and scored a second. What are we doing at the back? We can't be that much worse off without Evans. He's not that important. Like, yes, he's our best centre back, but he's not, you know, Bassi and Hadashock aren't that much of a drop. Let's berate the players because we aren't happy. We aren't happy at all. Oh, I don't know what to do. I think we're going to be a championship club next year. Because if we can't beat Burnley, we're not beating Leicester. And everything else would, would have to go our way. They're just going through every single time. They're just going straight through the middle. I don't know what Dennis and Jashari are doing. They're, doing. they're doing absolutely nothing by the looks of it. Brits has done well to come out. We're just doing nothing up top. We're doing nothing going forward. We've, we've had one shot on target. We massively need to improve. Massively in this second half. I think we need to make some subs at half time. I think we do. Right. Oh, this is terrible. This is not what we want to see. Really not, right? We're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to bring Ahmad on. Ahmad on. Put Jashari as the ball winner. We're also going to bring Walters on because I think he's got a bit more going forward than Royale. And hopefully, because I think those two centre mids are much more likely to score. Uh, Dennis and Jenkins, yeah, then they're not really. Um, goal scoring centre mids whereas I've seen Jashari and Ahamada score a bit more so I'm hoping just getting them both on the pitch increases the likelihood of us actually getting a goal because we need to just get one to get back in it first of all never mind to, to get you know a winner and we're just losing the ball again and Neto does really well picks it up <sighs> Deanna's ever this is what I mean we just get a, we get anywhere near a, a chance and we just waste it we're just wasting it not doing anything useful we're three points behind. If Norwich get even a point, we're, we're relegated. If Norwich even get a point today, if, the, if we lose this game, we're relegated. All right, Dianazevic picks up the ball. Don't just shoot. Don't just shoot. Thank God he's lost it anyway. Amada shoots. Oh, why are we just shooting trying to the box every time? It's not coming off. Harvey Barnes has been bloody useless this second half of the season as well. Like this running. Oh, I want to take him off, but I don't know who to bring on. Bring Gruder on. He's been useless. He's genuinely been terrible. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else to do. I think that's it. I think that's all we can do. Gruder comes on. We've done nothing. We've done genuinely nothing. We're going to have to go attacking. We're going very attacking. It's so early, but we have to do it. We have to try and do something to get us going forward more. We've had three shots on time. I know they've only had three as well, but... Oh, this is terrible. This is so bad. So, so bad. And it looks like it's going to be Burnley. If they get a second here, we, we're relegated. We are relegated. Yep, yeah, we're done. We're out. We're relegated. We're down. Oh, this has been shocking. What a shit performance this is. This has been terrible. We are relegated. There's no way. We, Norwich will get a point out of the last two games. They will. Now, Now I've said that they won't get anything. They'll definitely get a point now. We're gone. We're relegated. Even a draw would at least keep us in, I guess. But, nah, it's not going to happen now. This has been it's so bad. It's just these key games we've been terrible. I don't expect us to get results. I really don't. Oh, it's three! Oh, we have just... We've just given up. Like, this is just us giving up, I can tell. <sighs> Brit has been terrible as well, by the way, in this run-in. He was so good for me at Lincoln. And he pulls off some great saves. Oh, 3-0 loss to relegated Burnley. We deserve to go down, honestly. This is terrible. Absolutely terrible. I think we're done. If Norwich get a, a result here... I mean, if Norwich or Brentford get a result, get a win, 
out of the, those three games, we're gone. Because we need Norwich to lose both games. We need Brentford to not win. No, we need Brentford to lose as well. Yeah, we're gone. There's too many permutations at play here. We are gone. We're relegated. I don't get relegated in Football Manager. It just doesn't happen that often to me. It really doesn't. Right, well, we might as well just progress because I think we're, we're going to get the confirmation we're relegated. I'm guessing Norwich are playing today. I'm so annoyed. I'm so, so annoyed. I can't believe we've been relegated. Right, we just need to hope now. We just need to hope that Tottenham can get a win here because if Norwich get a result here... Oh. <laughs> they've won. They've, they've won. They've beat Tottenham. Third in the league, Tottenham, Norwich... Right, okay. Well, we were going... To, the game's decided. We're going down. That's it. <sighs> We've been relegated. I can't believe it. I never get relegated on Football Manager. I think I've... I can count on one hand how many times I've been relegated, genuinely. Us and Brentford are down, to be fair. It's not just us, but yeah. Oh, they're slashing the budget as well. Oh, they're slashing the budget. Wage budget was like two point something million. Thankfully, I mean, there's a transfer budget there. So first thing we'll do is move that into wage to just make it look like we have, well, half the wage, yeah. Oh, God. Wow, right. Well, we are going to be in the, in the shit because we're going down to the championship. How are Lincoln getting on? Are they getting promoted? Well, they're not in the playoffs, so I'm assuming they didn't... No, they dropped out anyway, so... Oh. So, we... Oh! Well, we've got a fixture against our old club Lincoln next season. How did... Uh, we might as well see how... Well, they're not in the playoffs. Oh, Peterborough Sport. God, it's been a bad year. It's been a terrible year for all of my club. <laughs> Peterborough Sport are back down in the National League. I'm assuming losing on the last day. Oh, they actually won on the last day. They must have been relegated before that. Oh. Unless Newport won on the last day. I don't know why I'm looking at this. I'm just trying to distract myself from the fact. No, they lost. Oh, that was who Peterborough Sports. Yeah. I mean, that would have been good if it was for anything, but Lincoln didn't get in the playoffs. And we've been relegated. So that's two. Re How is Josh Sargent the third top goal scorer in the league, by the way? Two of them were against us, to be fair. I think, uh, what's his name? has got to be kind of high up there for us. Do we not have... I guess we probably joined too late. <laughs> I thought Diana's ever scored loads. Has it all been in the cup? Oh, yeah. He's only got five. Yeah, they've all been in the cup. Yeah, five and five in the cup. Only five and 17 in the league. He's been good, though. Right. Well, the other thing is, all those relegation clauses come in now. Oh, God, right. He's got a five for 45 million. He's going because he's worth about, he's worth double that. So he's going. And Neto, 30 mil. He's going. No way he'll stay. Sergio, what's yours? 33. And he might not go. No, he probably will go as well. Uh, Dennis, do you have one? 21 million. He'll probably go as well. Book, do you have one? Oh, 17 and a quarter. He's definitely going. Yeah. Had a shock. Do you have one? Yep. 21 million. Yep. You're probably going. Brit, do you have one? Uh, 11 million. Yeah. No one's paying 11 million for Brits. I think we're probably okay there. Oh my God. Contreras, do you have a. No. Okay. Contreras is staying. Well, hey, we've made no progress because we had him at Lincoln. <laughs> oh, Evans. Oh, Evans. 34 mil. He's going. Like, there's no way teams aren't going to be putting in bids. I mean, we've got about two hundred million pounds worth of sales coming in. We're gonna to have to rebuild the squad if any of that, if any of those. I mean, at least one or two of those is getting activated. You can just tell. The only thing we can do now, and I'm gonna try and do it now in between games, is renew deals and get those relegation uh, relegation clauses gone. That's the only thing we can do. Even if we have to pay everyone a lot more money, get them gone because. Um, yeah, to be fair, this squad wins the championship next year. Like, with... Oh, we've got Frimpong in the championship. I just remembered this. Emmanuel... Is it Emmanuel? Emmanuel Frimpong's coming in. Jeremy Frimpong. Who am I thinking of? Jeremy Frimpong. He's coming in. A world-class player in the championship. I don't, will he kick off that we're in the championship? I don't know if he will. 
Well, at least he doesn't have a release clause. So we've got a Jerry Frimpong in the chat. We're going to win, like, the championship. There's no doubt about it. Next season, we are going to get through that so quick because, yeah, like, genuinely, like, four episodes, I think, because we, we, there's no way we won't, like, just win the championship. There's no way. We'll at least, we'll at least come, um, we'll at least come second. Like, there's no way we don't. I think we could, we'll lose less than five. I'm sure of it. Because we beat Reading 6-2 and then ninth. So if we can somehow keep any of this squad together. Now, a few of them are leaving. Patterson, Kilman and, and Cabral have all got deals to leave, which we'll look at in the transfer special. But, oh, I can't believe we've been relegated. I, honestly, I never get relegated in Football Manager. Like, I'm pretty good at the game. I guess it, it was a tough run. It was a tough run. Like, make no mistake. Do you know what we'll do? We'll um, we'll we'll play the Leicester game off camera because that doesn't matter, and we'll do the FA Cup final because if we can beat Man City, <laughs> who've won the league, <laughs> we could be playing Europa League and Championship next year, which would be a very interesting combo. I don't think we're going to win it because we just got beaten three 0 off Burnley, but you never know. So we'll leave it there. Um, I'm actually going to have a break in between this and the, the game because I just, yeah, I can't. I'm just so good that we got relegated. I need a break. I need a football manager break. Oh, because I've done like the last two episodes back to back. So I've just played a lot of these games and it's been very stressful. It's been very stressful because we've been on such a roller coaster. It's been so up and down. Points where I thought we might stay up, then we didn't. And then we got draws against Chelsea and Villa. Like, oh, maybe we just do enough. That Norwich game was a killer. I think we should have won that. That takes three points off them, three points to us. Yeah, we're probably staying up, aren't we? So, oh, it is what it is. How they? Be? I can't believe they beat Tottenham. <laughs> if we'd have beat, actually, I'm thinking about it. If we'd have, yeah, if we'd have won our game, we still wouldn't need. We still would have needed to beat Leicester on the final day. Even Wolves might have got brought into it, and then to be fair, then Wolves might have been dragged into it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Us Burnley and Brentford are going down. We'll, we'll, we'll smash the league. We'll definitely smash the league. I don't think Burnley and Brentford will be anywhere near it. Um, yeah. Oh, I can't believe... I, oh, no, I genuinely can't believe. That is crazy. That is crazy. Anyway, <laughs> we'll play the Leicester game off camera and we'll come back for the cup final. Hey. So for our second game of the episode, we have our FA Cup final against City. Um, we are not going into this in any kind of good form. After that 3-0 loss to Burnley, we lost 5-1 to Leicester. It's kind of caused a bit of a revolt. Um, the fans are really not happy with me or Spike Britz or Harvey Barnes. Um, the board are not really that happy either. Um, yeah, I think we're... Uh, I think we, we we probably won't get sacked, I'm hoping, but we are on the verge. I think if we don't start off the championship well next year, we'd definitely go. Um, but we are we did finish, ended up finishing second bottom. Um, yeah, this is a bit of a free hit for City. There's no way we're winning this. The one good piece of news is we are having a big old clear out. So Patterson, Kilman, Cabral, Ahmad is on his way out. We've got a bid for Harvey Barnes coming in. Morgan Jenkins might go. So a lot of these players who... Honestly, they're not really even that good anyway. Um, a lot of these players might be on their way out, which will help with the financial issues. We do obviously have a lot of those future clauses to come in um, and obviously sponsorship money and things like that. So hopefully this situation improves itself. Um, but money for next season, yeah, we are a little bit light. So we'll uh, we'll do what we can. We'll probably rely on free transfers. Obviously, we've got Frimpong coming in, which will be a big upgrade. Um, Spike Britt has been terrible. And I really think he's okay. Um, but he has been shocking. So we we may just look to get a new goalkeeper and use him as a backup. Not sure. The one good piece of news is a lot of the youngsters with release clauses on, um, we have been able to finagle a new deal. So we've offered them a lot more money. So I think Aneto is on like something like 50, 60K. He's now up to 83K. But basically, we got rid of those active relegation release clauses. Those are gone. They've been replaced by non-promotion clauses, basically. So if we don't go up next season, then those uh, fees will kick in. But basically, all of the key sort of young players be sad. The only one that has an active clause that I would actually be sad if they went is Diana Zevich. He doesn't want to sign a new deal. He wants us to improve the squad before he'll do that. I'm hoping when Frimpong comes in, that might sway him to think that we're good enough. But at the minute, he does have a 45 million release clause, which... Yeah, if that got activated, would be would be very sad. It wouldn't be the end of the world. I think we'll uh, I think we'll win the league next year. Like I know we've been so bad, but I still think we'll win the league. So 
it's a bit of a free hit, this. I don't... I, <laughs> this is going to have to be some miracle for us to get a result here. City have won the league. We've, we've been relegated. Um, then again... It was City who Wigan beat, wasn't it, in that uh, in that FA Cup final when they went down. So you never quite know. We're definitely going to lose. But you never quite know. Let's take a look. Haaland, Bellingham, Foden, Rodri, Vardy, all D. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be a long old afternoon. It's not. I didn't even read the team sheet out. It's Dianazevic, Contreras, Aneto on the left. Harvey Barnes, I don't think he's going to play for us anymore. He is. Uh, he's not been good. And he's been kicking up a fuss, so... He can go Sergio on the right, Jashari and Dennis in midfield, and then uh, Book, Royale, Evans had a shock, and Brits in goal, who's been terrible. But he is against his former club, so you never quite know. Um, even if we score here, I don't think we're going to win. <laughs> it's that kind of... We've been that bad. You know what it is? We've just been conceding so many goals, and it's really not like us. Um, the 4-2-4 was perhaps... Uh, maybe too aggressive for the Premier League for a relegation side. I don't know, but I'm definitely going to stick with it going into the Championship because... We batted red in 6-2, and that was in the middle of us not playing well at all. So if that's how we play when we're not playing well, imagine when we've got a bit of momentum behind us. I think we'll be I think we'll be just fine in the championship. I think if we can keep the core of the squad, I think Brits in goal will be good enough for the championship. I think Book, Hadashok, Evans, and Frimpong, that's a very good back line. Dennis and Jashari probably in midfield. Yeah, Ruben Diaz has just put City one ahead. Great. Well, there's any hope of that. I thought we were getting a couple of chances to begin there. I thought you never know, but no, there we go. Um, yeah, if we can keep them two in midfield. This is the most dour cup final ever. Usually you come into cup finals with a bit of like, oh, we can go do it, you know, let's go do it. And uh, it just doesn't feel like it. It just feels like, it's, I mean, this is a great, great team we're playing. It's a massively good squad. Diana Zevic is in here. I still don't feel like he's going to finish it now. That, it, do you know what I mean? It's just that we're just in that run where things just don't come off. Even when you get a lucky opportunity like that, where she should be rounding the goalkeeper and taking or putting it to the other side of the goalkeeper. He's just putting it wide. Um, it's just that kind of... It's just that kind of form we're in. I just feel like we're not going to do anything in this game. Um, you, you, you know, you, you're asking for a miracle to beat a city side, a very good city side anyway with the side we have. Not like we have a poor side, but it's it's not at that level, nowhere near that level. There's still a lot of these lads just shown as championship players. So that kind of shows you where we're at and where they these are at. But nevertheless, oh, Brits has been terrible, you know. He needs replacing next year. He genuinely does because as much as I like him, I, yeah, he's been terrible. Um, his rating just went up there, even though it was his mistake. So I don't understand that. Foden plays it short. I mean, what are we doing there? What are we doing there? The, our set piece setup is shike, shike. I was going to say shocking and shite. It, it, it is so bad. Our set piece setup is so bad. We just do not defend set pieces well at all. But all there's always a free man. So our set piece coach needs sacking. We need a new one because uh, I don't do it. I just leave the <laughs> delegate to the set piece coach, and he's not been doing his job clearly. Oh, so bad at set pieces. Anyway, 2-0 down now. So yeah, so I think those two in midfield, fine. We probably, you know, if we lose a Jenkins or a... Oh, well, Ahamad is definitely going. It's 3-0. It's 3-0. Um, <laughs> Ahamad is going um, because we got a bid in for him. So he'll be going. Um, we just need to recover some money. That's the only reason I'm selling players because we need some money in because the, the club's in a bit of a mess financially. So if we can get the wage bill down, obviously Harvey Barnes is... I think top earner for Impong will be when he comes in. But at the minute, I think it's Harvey Barnes on 110k. Um, we won't be signing anyone on, on near near 100k contracts anymore. Oh, Neto's got one. It's 3-1. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Um, but yeah, I, I don't see us signing anyone for big money in the summer. I think if we do get anyone, it'll probably be a couple of loans. I'll probably look to bring a couple of the youth players up as well, see if, um, if any of them might be good enough. There's... I think we might try and sell Emerson Royale as well because I think we've got Frimpong, Book, and Walters can play either side. I think that'll be enough. And then I think we've got like a youngster who can come in and fill in if needed. Um, but there you go. I mean, it, it just it just depends. It's going to be a very interesting summer because I think we'll probably probably be mostly selling players. I don't think we'll be looking to uh, to bring loads in. Um, but we do obviously need a squad. So. It's going to be interesting. We'll have to just see how it goes. Um, there might even be play a couple of players leave on release clauses because um, obviously still a few of those. If Diana Zevich leaves, I'm, I'm going to be absolutely uh, gutted because he's the best one. He's the he's the absolute. He's the future. Like could win you a Premier League, I think, as a striker. Like I think if you have the team around him, he wins you a Premier League because he's amazing. Um, 
but yeah, I don't know. It's yeah, it's going to be tough, but um, I think the championship. Once we get a good run going, I think we'll be okay there. Uh, but we are doing really badly here. <laughs> As as is, as to be expected, we're going to bring Gruder on for Sergio because he's a bit tired. We'll bring uh, bring Bassi on for Book. I guess we'll just leave it there. Yeah, it's not been good. It's not been a good day. We knew we were going to get. We knew we weren't winning this though. We absolutely knew we weren't winning this. Hopefully, we'll get a little bit of money just by getting to the final, like tickets and and some prize money or something. But. Yeah, it was never going to happen. To be fair, if we had have won it, it would have been a very unique scenario. We would have done the Wigan where you're in the Europa League and the Championship in the same season, but that probably wouldn't even have been... I mean, financially, it would have been good to have some extra money coming in. Um, I think there is parachute payment, so we should be okay financially. Um, I think we absolutely need to come up next year. That That's not a question. Uh, it's not an if, it's a, it's a definite. Like We do need to come up next year. But um, to be fair, I think if we played this squad all season, we'd be comfortably mid-table because I think our form since I've joined has been mid-table. Now, we have lost some bad games. Don't get me wrong, we've lost some. The, the loss to Norwich was particularly bad, but then the Burnley one, yeah, that was terrible. Um, but I think if we had played this squad all year, they, I mean, we won most of the game. Like, the most of the games, uh, there was only one game that this club won this year that we that wasn't us winning it. So... I think we've done fine. I think it was just it was probably too insurmountable and we've just we've just succumbed to the level of the premiership just being a bit too high to try and because you can come in the championship and I think you can get players in that can compete with the top teams. I think you really have to have to win your lower opposition games otherwise you're just never going to have a chance and we didn't do that. We didn't do that enough. We beat Brentford, but we didn't beat Norwich, and that was—I think—that was the key one. I think if we'd been not beaten Norwich, got outside the the drop, we would have probably turned it round there. But yeah, just not enough wins, too many losses, well, too many heavy defeats as well. I think really knocked the stuffing out of us. Tottenham, Man United, uh, Burnley, Leicester. Yeah, you know, obviously these, these were like at the end of the season, but yeah, we don't need to watch this anyway. I don't know why I'm watching. <laughs> I don't know why I'm watching City lift the cup. We'll be here one day. We'll be here one day. Make no mistake unacceptable even if it gets against City absolutely unacceptable right oh what a sad end to the season what a sad end to the season I've honestly I've ne I think I've been relegated once in football manager other than this and this was like a youth academy challenge so when we went up to the Premier League it was really unexpected and we came straight back down um we got a million great well did we get anything else did we get any other money we must have gone a little bit because we're down okay all right, well, we've got a lot of financial... Because um, nah, we paid money out, that's why. We've got a lot of financial hurt to repair. It's going to be a very interesting transfer window, so you won't want to miss it. You will not want to miss it. So, yep, yeah, that's it. I mean, look at the form pre-January. This was the, pra the past management, and then post-January was us. Yes, we played a couple of games here, but we'll ignore those. Mostly January was us. I think this is mid-table, if not like even a little bit higher. We got to an FA Cup final. We did our best. It wasn't enough. In the end, we were, yeah, six points. So if you think about we beat Norwich and they lose three points, we gain three points, we probably stay up. So I think that was the key one, especially considering, uh, no, it wasn't that one. It was this one. Considering they went down to nine men. That was really bad. Anyway, we'll ignore that. Well, we won't ignore it, but we'll think about that. The board aren't happy. Supporters aren't happy. Players aren't happy. <laughs> We've got a big, big old rebuild to do in the summer. So uh, that's what will be next episode. So I hope you enjoyed this episode because I certainly didn't. And I'll see you all for more.